Hi. I can again. Today we're going to Jukju Fortress and Bibong Sam. And have ever with young old and guest hikers Roger and Yule. Back to at least the 13th century, right? That's crazy. The Mongolian army, yeah. yeah. Attacked this fortress in 1236 in the Goryeo dynasty. Yeah. Here at the gate, I should imagine it's the west gate. Go on the inside. You want your camera back? And up in the center of the uh, fortress, actually, I think I'm a little bit fast there. Oh, we've got some kids on the fortress. So anyway, we're walking the fortress wall, and then we're going to peel off and hike to the top of the Bibong Sam. No damn beautiful day in Korea. Oh, we got some children, and I say, oh, young and young. Good morning. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> Good morning. Go like this. Hey. Yeah, come on. You're on video. Hi. Hi. It's one of the few fortresses they actually allow you to walk on the wall. But you can see the wall is actually protecting the mountain. We're in Anson. Well, Juksan, actually, right? We're in Juksan, which is near Anson, not very far from Pyeongtaek, in Gyeonggi-do. We're on Jukju Sansong, Jukju Mountain Fortress. Evidently, Mongolians attacked this fortress. From Mongolia, yeah. Of course, Mongolians are famous for conquering most of the uh, most of Asia and parts of Europe. Isn't it? Genghis Khan. So are. Uh, you go to Mongolia, that's all they do is ride horses. Yeah. No, they always get ahead and hey, it's gorgeous. Look at this. Look at this view. <laughs> From the fortress wall you can understand 
how important this one was. Seventeen. Yeah, I thought it was three, it's seventeen. Right. Oh, you can't go around. New signpost, we've never seen that signpost before. <laughs> right. This is about time, about the first time we've been over here, because they planted this grove of trees too. It's about uh, like a secret entrance. There's an entrance. like a massage conga line. Hi. Oh, they're in a circle. <laughs> they got a circle going on. Hello. <laughs> Oh, this is better than it used to be. Oh no, we haven't got to it yet, have we? Actually, this is uh, where we're going to peel off. We're still on the old wall, if you look. I'm still on the old wall. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I think we're going to meet, uh, I mean, see General Yongax. When you come in here, obviously, you got to watch your step. It's fairly primitive. This trail all the way up is fairly primitive. Right, we got to go down before we go up. And you wonder where the ladies are. Does that answer your question? For squirrels. Don't stand a chance. Young girl was reminiscing <coughs> when she was a kid. When they came home from school, these collect acorns and put them on the corner in the house somewhere. And then when the acorn buyer came along, they'd sell it to him. And that's pocket money for ice cream and stuff like that. Well, one time the acorn guy came around. She rushed to get the acorns. They're all gone. Her mom had made mook. <laughs> which is kind of like a, it's an acorn jello, kind of like a brown looking jello that they eat over here. So you come up, you turn left at the ridge line, and you just come up to the top. Maybe somebody's up here. And here we are. The top of the mountain.
172 meters, not very high. That's a splendid view, it's quite bright when you're looking into the sun. Sounds like we've got a festival going on. I would have thought about that when I got to the first hill. <laughs> this is seventy dollars. Oh no, thirty-five dollars. Seventy dollars for two. show you. When you get to the ridge line here, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> when you get up to the ridge line, you turn left here. That is just straight. Bit of rope work. Yeah, a little bit of a rope going up then at the top of the ridge and you're still like. Well we found young oak. We got two big old bags of acorns. Guess who's got carry one bag? It's one strong guy, but <laughs> then we gotta climb back up to the fortress wall. And you get a backpack full of acorns. It makes it a little bit more difficult. So when you get to the main wall, you're gonna go right again. No, you're on a little bit of extension. Yeah. And we're going to sensible. Okay. To recap, we came up this way. We went down that way to Bibong San. Bibong San over there. And we're going this way. Bong San, Chukchu Fortress. These are all Mugumwa trees, or hibiscus, national flower of Korea. Next year, next springtime's going to be real pretty here if you all survive. Somebody stole it. <laughs> there you go. I think we ought to both plant um, a, a mugumwa. <laughs> it's probably easier running down than it is walking down. Right, that's what I said, it's probably easier running down than this one. There we go, another secret entrance. It's called... Nam... 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 
moon. Not moon. Not moon. South Gate. Already eventually. I can read Korean, but it just takes me an hour to read it. <laughs> Kissing, hiking, and kissing. That's all we do. You're one of my boat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> she said the one one. I bet we have to go down here, Roger. We do we do one that's eight kilometers round. Five miles. Uh, one point something in it, about a mile, is it? Yeah, but don't forget we climbed up to Bibong San. That's why we do Bibong San. If we just did the fortress, we'd be take us thirty minutes. Unless you want to walk up through the middle there. <laughs> and here we are back at the And, and just a, a quick recap here, that one of the general, the general that was the uh, commanding officer during the Mongol attack invasion, he's got a shrine up here that you can visit. You see the car up here, uh, up here I think is a shrine around that area, but there's a couple of other small areas you can visit, which we're not going to visit today, we're just going to go back to the car. And this is a nice walk in itself. Just Walking back to the car. It looks like they're doing some renovation down at the bottom here. I noticed that the old sign that used to be here is down at the bottom now. So that was Jukju uh, Mountain Fortress and Bibong Sand. 